In this video, we're going to graph tangent, and we're going to look at the domain and range of tangent. Tangent looks very different from our sine and our cosine, as you'll see. Well, remember when we were talking about tangents, we have to worry in some cases about dividing by zero, because remember, tangent was equal to y divided by x. And we've just shown through our sine and cosine that there are times that both x and y are equal to zero. Well, we only care about when x is equal to zero, because if tangent of theta is equal to y over x, you can't have zero in your denominator. Well, if we start at zero degrees, at zero degrees, x is one and y is equal to zero. Zero divided by one is zero. The tangent of 45 degrees was exactly equal to one. Again, this is one of those special triangles you were supposed to memorize. So the tangent of 45 degrees is positive one. And at 90 degrees, well, at 90 degrees, that's where we run into trouble. That's where x is equal to zero. So one divided by zero is equal, well, it's undefined. And if you see on the plot, it goes up to positive infinity. Well, what happens as we continue along the circle? Again, let's go to 45 degrees. Again, at 45 degrees, or 135 degrees, tangent will be equal to one, well, not positive one, because in quadrant two, tangent is negative. So at 135 degrees, tangent is equal to negative one. So you can see this huge disconnect. We went from positive infinity at 90 degrees, and then suddenly switched down to negative infinity as we started getting closer again to, to 135 degrees. When we get to 180 degrees, tangent again y over x or zero divided by one or zero. If we now go to quadrant three at 45 degrees, remember tangent is positive in quadrant three, so it would be equal to positive one. And then again, it goes up to positive infinity. And if we keep going, it goes from negative infinity and zooms up and back at 360 degrees, tangent is again equal to zero. So tangent repeats in 180 degrees, or pi. We looked at this in terms of radians. You can see that tangent repeats from zero to pi. The sine and cosine took two pi before it started repeating. So tangent looks nothing like our sine and our cosine. If we look at tangent from zero to 180 degrees, we see it crosses zero at zero degrees and at 180 degrees, or pi, and it's undefined at 90 degrees. Let's look at the domain and range of our tangent function. Here's our tangent function again, and the range this time doesn't look like it has any limits to it. Again, at some points we had negative infinity, and at other points we had positive infinity. But the domain, well, the domain's a little trickier for a tangent function because tangent is undefined at 90 degrees and negative 90 degrees and 180 plus 90 or 270 degrees. So wherever we have those disjoints, those cannot be part of our domain. So the domain in set notation is the set of all x such that x does not equal pi over two or pi over two plus k pi, where k is any integer. Those are the points where we have disconnects. So for tangent, we do have to watch out. The domain isn't negative infinity to positive infinity because of those disjoints. And there we have graphing our basic tangent function, as well as discussing its domain and range.